Okay, so this is Dr. Krauss with some lecture content on PWM or pulse width modulation. Um, just recording this as I get ready to go to my conference so my students will have something to do while I'm gone and trying to get you guys ready for a uh, lab on Friday. Let me zoom in just a touch. Uh, so I've already gotten to my first bullet point. PWM stands for pulse width modulation. Um, I want you to know what it's used for and be familiar with Arduino settings related to PWM. Um, so, um, pulse width modulation, what do we mean by modulation? Modulation, um, sort of like on the radio, you might, I don't know, I guess kids still listen to radio, right? So, frequency modulation is FM and amplitude modulation is AM. And so the basic idea is that you have some kind of carrier frequency, and that's kind of the station that you dial into. Um, and then there's an additional signal that rides on top of the carrier signal that actually carries the music. Well, in this case, we're not trying to make music. Um, we're trying to convey um, an analog voltage signal, and so that kind of rides on top of a high frequency signal, and the actual data we're trying to communicate is what percent of that duty cycle does the voltage remain on. So we're trying to communicate essentially an analog amplitude that's gonna be the percentage of the duty cycle that remains on. And we're going to have a high frequency signal that is filtered to give us the, re the result, the desired analog kind of DC value, so to speak. Um, it's a little bit of an oversimplification, but I think you'll see what I'm saying. Um, so there are often ap uh, applications where we would like to do some kind of an analog output. By that, I mean, a, an, what do we mean by analog? I mean something that's not just zero or five. I want to output 0 0.75 volts or something. If I'm trying to get something that's not zero or five on a microcontroller, we're going to call that analog. And so that's a complicated thing to do. Many uh, microcontrollers don't really have a way to do that. Um, what we do have instead is zero or five volt on or off, high or low type of pins and we can control the timing of those things very precisely. And so if I can take a digital pin and turn it on and off in a highly controlled, very precise, repeatable manner, and then I have some means of low pass filtering that, I can get a pseudo analog output created from the low pass filter of the PWM. So pulse width modulation is a high frequency square wave um, whose, per, whose on percentage or duty cycle is varied to give us a desired analog output. So by duty cycle, I mean, like I've already implied, if I've got a signal that, for example, is on as off, much as it's off, then this would be considered, so this is the on time this is the total time here, and on divided, so duty cycle in math words would be uh, on time, kind of in math words, what the heck am I talking about? As a formula, duty cycle is on time divided by period times 100 to get a percentage of the time that the signal is on on or high or five volts so for example if i had a square wave pwm signal going into an rc filter so this is my r this is my c this is v in and this over here is v out if i've got a high frequency square wave, in this case a 25% duty cycle, this dotted line, you can see that so that the percentage time that it's on versus the percentage of the total time, so this is T and this is 0 0.25 cap T, um, it's kind of doing its thing. And then of my five volt signal, 25% of that works out to, I guess, one and a quarter volts. And so there's a little bit of a ripple thing going on here because this high frequency isn't crazy high compared to the cutoff frequency of my low pass filter. But you see, basically I'm taking these square pulses that are 25% on, 75% off. 
and the result is a DC output of 1.5 volts. So we're taking that pulse width and converting it to a DC voltage. So similarly, if I had 50% on time, now I'm on for exactly the same amount of time that I'm off. So I've got a total period here. And then my on time is 0.5T and my off time is also 0.5T. 50% duty cycle and the average value of my filtered output is then 2.5 volts. So the, again, the, the duty cycle is being converted to a DC output. Similarly, I've got a 75% duty cycle, meaning that we're on for 0.75T and then we're off for 0.25T in a repeatable pattern. T is then the whole period of the square wave. And that should be uh, three-fourths of five. So I think that's 3.75, right? So the, the average value is three quarters of the five volts. So yeah, that's the basic idea. How do I specify a duty cycle and then filter that? And maybe that duty cycle is changing rapid, somewhat rapidly with time, but still, I don't know, still being filtered to produce a sine wave or a whatever. Um, but the pulse width modulate the PWM frequency itself has to be high compared to the RC filter frequency and there doesn't have to be explicitly an RC filter in the um, system if you've got like a, a motor or something that happens to have its own low pass characteristic that can also work. So on an Arduino how do we specifically make this work? Um, there are some timer settings that can adjust the PWM frequency by default some of the PWM frequencies are 500 hertz, which is, in my opinion, not very fast. So we can mess with some timer settings to adjust that. And then you use the command analog write, and then it takes two inputs, a pin number and a value. And so if this were, say, four or six or whatever, it would be that corresponding pin. And the value is a number between 0 and 255, where 0 is completely off, 255 is completely on. Basically, we're taking this square wave... We're dividing it up into 255 pieces. And so you tell the system which, where to switch. And so this value is the number out of 255. Where we would, so if we wanted a 20, well, a 50% duty cycle, we'd say go on for 127 and then off for the rest. If we wanted a 25% duty cycle, we'd say go on for 63 and off for the rest. So analog right of, say, 4, 63 would give me a 25% duty cycle square wave on pin 3. Um, as I already mentioned, there's um, the default frequency is 500 hertz, which I don't think is, is high enough. So you have some kind of settings, and this is some kind of magical code that I pulled out of the example that I have for you. And prescale in this particular code is a value between 1 and 5. And the choice of that prescale value sets a prescale factor um, determining how the CPU clock, which is a 16 megahertz clock. So I've got 16 megahertz is my uh, Arduino CPU clock. I divide that by a prescale factor, and then there's the 256 steps that the period is divided into. So the overall period of one square wave is 16 million divided by a prescale factor divided by 256. And I talk about that in my other video with the oscilloscope and all that. And I guess that's it. So you can adjust the, the frequency of the PWM, and it needs to be faster than your plant transfer function. So fast with respect to your DC motor, whatever. Um, so generally, I like to have my prescale of 8, which turns out to lead to about a 7.8 kilohertz uh, PWM frequency. That, to me, is pretty fast, and I, and I feel like I get good results with that. And then you specify the value um, to say what percentage of the... PWM square wave is on. What's the duty cycle? So duty cycle, I think I already said this, but duty cycle would be, maybe I don't say this. So duty cycle as a percentage in this case would be value divided by 255 times 100. Would give me a percentage. 
Thanks.